look, uh, this is a daily right here. Uh, I'll go back to some of the conversations that we've had, you know, these last couple couple weeks now, right? As long as the daily looks like this, any short-term move is not sustainable, all right? As long as the daily chart looks like this, any short-term move is not sustainable. And my big target on this daily is this 24 target. This 24 target is my, is my big target on the daily. So just in case you guys are wondering, what the hell is 24? It's just the price, guys. It's 02404, all right? That will be my target. So this is what a daily looks like. You know, the four hour, the one hour, the 15 minutes, these are short-term time frames, all right? These are lower time. So when I analyze these lower time frames, you know, sometimes I'm going to be bullish, you know, depending on what they look like. Uh, but then sometimes I come back, you know, 24 hours later and the chart has completely changed. So when I was looking at Jasmine yesterday and the day before, like this is what Jasmine was actually doing. The price was going up. We were breaking some key levels. Uh, let me go back to the 15 minutes. Uh, we were breaking some key levels right here, guys. We were putting in higher highs and higher lows. I mean, take a look at this right here. This was very positive right here. And, you know, you come back 24 hours later. I mean, we gave back the entire gains. And this is exactly why, you know, you want to zoom out. Because as long as those bigger time frames are negative, Right. As long as this daily is negative, any one of these moves, all right, on the four hour, on the one hour, on the 15 minutes, on the 15 minutes, any one of these moves right here, it's only going to show live. Right. And this is why, you know, if you're trading Jasmine or if you're trading any of these projects, you got to make sure you have a stop loss. You have to make sure you have a stop loss. So, this is not good. All right? I mean, look at this candle right here on the one hour. This is definitely not looking good. Uh, you look at the MACD that was about to turn bullish. That was only a fake out. Uh, the MACD is trending down again. So we now need to wait for further confirmations. Uh, but what this is, what this does, you know, if I clear this up for a little bit, now we have a clear breakdown. So if I put a trend line right here, this is your support right here. All right. This is no longer, you know, a, a Jasmine that's going to go up until the price is back above this yellow line. So this yellow line now becomes a resistance, right? This is how technical analysis works. Once a certain level is broken, you know, if you are dealing with a resistance, it becomes a support. And if you were dealing with a support, it becomes a resistance. So this yellow line has now become a resistance. Uh, if you go to the four hour, a very clear breakdown. All right. The other day, we were very excited because we were looking for Jasmine to break above, uh, to break above this trend line right here. And this is another reminder why we actually have to be careful. You know, be careful because unless you have a confirmation, there's no reason to get excited. And we were also very excited. All right. Put another trend line right here. We were also very excited when we had this, this move right here. Oops. That's not what I meant to do. Uh, we were very excited when we got this move right here. Uh, let me go to the daily. I want to show you guys something i don't know if this is we were very excited when we got this move right here all right this right here and this further you know gave us another reminder why we have to be patient why we have to wait for you know further confirmations so i remember this move right here all right and even this one right here we got very excited so every one of these rallies right here guys as long as this daily 
continues to look this nasty because to me this is nasty work right here <laughs> right as long as this thing continues to look like this i just don't see any sustainable uptrend right. but if we get above 38 remember 38 is my is my biggest target you know as far as the you know a bullish market and a bearish market if we get above 38 but we don't just want to get above 38 we need to stay above 38 if we get above 38 we have i think we start something that's more long term and something that's more positive positive. and anything below 38 we're just dealing with a bearish market it's really that simple uh lower highs this is a lower low right now all right definitely a lower oh not really actually we haven't yeah we gotta drop below 27 uh to put in a lower low uh but this is not looking good right now unless you know we get support right here so we are retesting a support right now you know unless we bounce off the support you know we are definitely going lower and i'm looking at 24 all right i am looking at that 24 dollar target uh not 24 dollars of course it's basically two cents and that you know a couple pennies behind it uh yeah i mean a major major target definitely a major target uh on the daily i want to see some bullish divergency from from this MACD right here uh, we don't have any of that right now and also you guys may remember you know i talked about the daily macd in this bearish territory so the daily macd is now below the zero line and that's not a bullish you know that is not something that's positive like that is super super negative uh let's take a look at the rsi and see what's going on so if you look at the rsi rsi below the 50 line this is not bullish guys this is bearish whenever your rsi is below the 50 line uh you in a bearish territory you know you want to be bullish and you only want a long something that's above the 50 line so a great time to long jasmine was right here all right from right here this was a great time to go long when the rsi was right here and you would have captured this big move you know if you would have if you would have went long right here you would have captured this big move right here this is 143 percent so we need the RSI to break above the 50 line again. All right. And we also need the MACD. Let me show you the MACD. We also need the MACD to break above the zero line. This is very simple. You can look, you can trade Jasmine or any of these other projects without even looking at the price. Like you can simply just look at your MACD. Like honestly, without looking at your price, you know that this was a great time to go long. Uh, let me show you right here. Let me use a vertical line. You know that this was a great time to go long. Right here. You know that this was a great time to go long. Right there. All right. For move to the left, I know, and you should know, that this was a great time to, to go long. Right here. Right here. So... The question is, what exactly are we looking for? Well, it's very simple, guys. We are looking for the RSI to be above the 50 line. Bang. And we are looking for the MACD to be above the zero line. All right. So if you look at all of these setups, they look exactly the same. So we are patient. We are patient on the sideline when Jasmine is doing some other stuff and when our indicators are doing some oops should have extended that and our indicators are doing some other stuff we are patient and patient and patient all right just like a sniper and we only go long when we have a situation like this all right now does it always work out absolutely not because there is no certainty in any of this stuff but this is when we would have went long on this project so this is on the daily right here now if we if we bring back the price you see that the price went up every single time the rsi broke above the 50 line and stay above the 50 line 
And every time the MACD broke above the zero line and stayed above the zero line. So we brought back the price and let's take a look at the performance. So right here, you see Jasmine went up. All right, right here, Jasmine went up. This was actually a big move right here. Uh, here you would have captured, yeah, 160% move. You know, here you would have captured 45% move. Uh, here you would have captured. Now, of course, there's a little bit more than, you know, it's more than just MACD breaks above zero line, RSI breaks above zero line. Because if your trend is still positive, there's no reason to exit the market. So this is a great example right here. Uh, we had a bearish divergencies uh, while the price was going up. So there was no reason to take profits right here. Again, this was actually my bad because I should have extended this right here. So as long as your RSI is above the zero line, you want to stay bullish on the token.